Hi, my name is Keith Long, and I'm a product support lead at Shimatsu Scientific Instruments, working with our elemental spectroscopy instruments. In this video, I will demonstrate how to replace a combustion tube and O-rings in a TOC LC combustion style instrument. If the instrument is used daily, then we recommend replacing the combustion tube with new platinum catalyst and the O-rings at the top of the combustion tube once a year. Before beginning this procedure, make sure the instrument is turned off and that the furnace is not heated up. Be aware that there are two types of TOC-LC instruments, a high sensitivity model and a normal sensitivity model. One of the ways they differ is the cooling coil at the bottom of the combustion tube. The normal sensitivity model uses a Teflon cooling coil, and the high sensitivity model uses a glass coil that is in a protective metal casing. For this procedure, the sensitivity of the instrument does not matter. To begin, remove the incoming air line from the side of the injection block. Loosen the nut a little, being careful not to unscrew it all the way, and pull the tubing out of the connector. Next, remove the slider retaining screw and slide the injection slider forward and out of the injection block. The slider can then be moved off to the side. Now, loosen the two sample injector retaining screws, once again making sure not to fully remove them. Then loosen the fitting at the bottom of the combustion tube. Now the injection block assembly, with the combustion tube attached, can be lifted up and out of the furnace. And the combustion tube can be detached from the injection block assembly. A new combustion tube, packed with new platinum catalyst, can be prepared following the instructions in the user's manual. The exact type of platinum catalyst used and the packing will depend on which model TOC you have and your specific application. There are three O-rings on the injection block that also need replaced on an annual basis. Two are underneath the injection slider on the top side of the block, a white Teflon O-ring on top and a black Viton one below it. The third O-ring is the larger diameter one on the bottom of the block that seals around the top of the combustion tube. A sharp or pointed instrument will help with removing the O-rings. Take extra precaution not to score or damage the Teflon. Now the new O-rings can be installed. It is extremely important to ensure the proper orientation of the new white Teflon O-ring as indicated on the label. One side of the O-ring has rounded edges and should be installed with this side facing up. After the new O-rings are installed, the newly packed combustion tube can be attached to the bottom of the injection block. Insert the combustion tube with the block attached down through the furnace and reverse the earlier procedures to reattach all connections. Insert the bottom of the combustion tube into the Teflon fitting of the cooling coil, but do not tighten it yet. Be sure to also reinstall the drain tube into the drain at this time. Align the top of the black bracket on the injection block with the black plate to ensure that the position of the assembly is correct before you tighten any screws. Once you confirm proper alignment, tighten the two injector retaining screws. Next, tighten the fitting at the bottom of the combustion tube where it connects to the cooling coil. The Teflon slider can now be inserted back into the injection block and reattached to the motor drive with the slider retaining screw. Finally, the air line can be reattached to the right side of the injection block. Please be aware that new platinum catalyst will need to be conditioned following the procedure in the user's manual before it can be used for measurement. For more information on Shimazu TOC analyzers, visit www.ssi.shimazu.com and check out some of our other videos on YouTube. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.